Hey everybody, somebody from the LAShop.com came across my website and they asked me if I would do a review of one of their LED grow lights. I said sure and about a week later I got this package here from UPS. So let's see what's inside. Uh, looks like some hanging brackets. This looks like the panel. And we have the power supply. Let's take a look at the panel here. Wow, that's pretty thin. Let me give you a closer look at this. Okay, this panel has 225 high power LEDs and here's what they look like. It's a close up. Okay, this panel has 165 red LEDs and 60 blue LEDs. It's 12 inches by 12 inches, quarter inch thick, uses 30 watts of power and they say you can drop this 30 feet and it'll still work. So it's pretty durable. So uh, let's hook it up and see if it works. Okay, we better test it before we hang it up. So hook up the power supply here. This goes together like that. And plug it in. That is very bright. I'll have more uh, pictures and details and the specs on this grow light on my website. If you want to check it out. And uh, let's grow something. Well, I thought the perfect test to test out the LED grow lights would be to germinate some lettuce and some rock wool and put it in a deep water culture hydroponic unit and give it a nice 30 day run. And at the end of 30 days, we should have some nice plants to see if these lights really do work. So let's get to it. Okay, here's what I've done. I set up a little grow station on this old collator that we barely use anymore and put up some mylar on the walls, just stapled it there. And that's my Mylar wrapping paper, remember that episode of my videos. And we took the light and we suspended it by twine, by a hook all the way in the ceiling there. And we can adjust the height of it. Right there, that's a plant clip. And yet, it holds up the whole light, because that light only weighs, I'd say less than a pound. And you can see how thin it is. It's only a quarter inch. It's a very thin light. And after running it for a little bit, it doesn't give off any heat. It's a little warm, but no heat. I mean, I can touch the whole thing and it's not hot. That's pretty cool. Okay, what I've done here is put the lettuce in deep water culture hydroponics. It's been in here for a couple of days now and it has a little bit new growth and this tub here is filled with nutrient solution there's just two air stones in there and here's some air lines going into the tub there here's my air pump and I'm using Maxagro for new nutrient solution at 450 ppm and one bag of this stuff will last a long time you can grow a lot of lettuce with this stuff so let me keep you updated on this review and we'll see how it goes Okay, here you can see I hooked up the grow light to a kilowatt so I can get the correct wattage being used. And even though the grow light's rated at 30 watts, it's actually only using 22.2 watts, which is pretty cheap because I'm paying 7.8 cents per kilowatt hour, running at 16 hours a day, and that's costing me about 3 cents per day to run this grow light, which is pretty darn cheap. Here you can see I have the grow light hooked up to a timer, and I have this timer set to go from 7 at night till 11 in the morning, and that's 16 hours per day. Okay, here we are at day 27. You can see there's a lot more new growth, and but the lettuce is starting to bolt, and that's because of the warm temperatures in here. Not from the LED grow light, but from the machines running in here, and the lights on the ceiling, 
it just uh, raises the temperature in here over 90 degrees so I, that's why I think it's bolting but other than that the plants are healthy and green and LED grow light really works but let me give you a look at some other things I noticed okay one night the leaves went up and touched the light for an extended period and you can see right here that's all that burned is that little spot so I guess that's just from one little LED touching it and no other damage to the leaf which is pretty amazing all right let's have a look at the roots nice root mass there nice and white and healthy All right, just to wrap the review up, I thought I'd give you a look of how it looks when the lights are off. Everything kind of looks purple and alien. But I'd like to make some points that I like about the grow light. It's energy efficient, there's no heat, it's lightweight, easy to set up, and the plants really love it. And I'd like to say thanks to the LAShop.com for the opportunity to have me review this grow light. And if you want to buy one, visit their website at the LAShop.com. That's all for this time. Take care, everybody.